okay so a cell is connected in series with the resistor and supplies a current of 4 ampere for a time of 500 seconds during this time 1.5 kilojoule of energy is dissipated in the cell and 2.5 is dissipated in the external resistor so the first thing that to be that is to be noted is that the cell is always used to supply the battery the power is not dissipated in the cell but according to the question the power is being dissipated within the cell itself it only means that the cell is having internal resistor so there are two resistances in the circuit one is external resistor and another is internal resistor apart from the battery let us now create the circuit so the circuit should somewhat look like this and the current in the circuit is given as 4 ampere now in this question there are two methods to do it now the method number one is we have to first find the total resistances like we have to find the capital r we have to find small r it's a very lengthy method instead of that we would be going for another method which is shorter one and innovative one but it is hard for the students to think from that point of view but if you understand the concept of these kind of questions uh, in a deep uh, manner you would be able to see through the question itself so it is given that 1.5 kilojoule energy is dissipated here and 2.5 joule is dissipated in the capital r resistance so we will find the total energy dissipated now the total energy dissipated is simple 2.5 plus 1.5 kilojoule which will be coming out to be 4 kilojoule now energy cannot be created nor destroyed so energy conservation principle says if this energy is dissipated in the resistances the battery is giving this much of the energy for 500 seconds so what is the formula for that now the energy given by the battery is given by VIT. So V we don't know, current we know, and time we also know. That is 500 seconds. So this is the total energy that is supplied by the battery. And the total energy supplied by the battery is dissipated in the resistances. So both of them, they should be equal to each other. So this should be equated with 4000. That is 4 kilojoule. And now, when we are going to solve it, we get the answer, the voltage is 2 volt. So the battery that is used is having 2 volt EMF. And that is what is our question. So according to this, D should be the right answer. And let us verify it according to the mark scheme. Yes, exactly, D is the answer. So this is the best method to do this question. With this, all the best. Bye.